realise it's so awkward filming in the shops. got a mangrove system behind me is the ocean and then over there's the bush I get the best of all the worlds it's awesome I feel like I haven't been solo camping in a hot minute like, it's been so long since it's just been me and good old Prats and still my head in I don't like it so we need to change that ASAP you know what also needs to change the good old rear drawer setup I'm over it this is disgusting. Like, have a look at this. Hang on, let me give you a tour real quick. This is what we're currently dealing with with the Prado's rear drawer setup. I've got two drawers, which are great, fab. We love storage. They're organized. Uh, they work. They're just very old. And then my 12 volt system, I've literally just got two batteries in battery boxes with an inverter over here. Now, this works. Don't get me wrong. But I have had this system for two years and I'm low key over it. It works, yes, but I'm due for some change and I'm due for some upgrades. If you've watched a few of my videos, you would know that my partner Jordan has a 200 series called Hundy that we have done up together and you would know that our rear draw system got kitted out by Splinter 4x4 down in Perth. It was a fully custom setup and it was absolutely schmick. Oh, it still is schmick. We absolutely love that design. Um, they did such a good job that I actually want to take Prads back and get this kitted out, but I'm so undecided what I actually want to do with the space that I have. Um, so I'm thinking, let's flip you guys around and envision a rear setup together. Let's go. Imagine all of this is ripped out and this is the shell that we have to work with. Now, what I'm thinking, this might be a crazy idea, but how cool would it be to have like a pull out pantry that I could just like get all my dry and canned foods and like paper towel and all that shit from and to make it even better on the sitting like on the front so imagine it's like pushed in right here would be sitting my air fryer now backstory I do not go camping without an air fryer these days it's genuinely my camping necessity and I love it to death literally use it to death especially because there's a fire ban at the moment so I can't use the fire to cook so air fryer imagine it's sitting there and then like a little latch it pulls out with my cupboard step around cupboard right here full of my dry foods okay moving on so I feel like that would take up this much room right so we've got like 
half kind of to work with i'm thinking three drawers one's going to be like my recovery and tools and spare parts other one is going to be all my fire cooking stuff with like a rice cooker and just like random bits and bobs for cooking third drawer is going to be like my little wardrobe it's going to have my clothes my toiletries shoes hats all of that shit up there obviously i'm going to need a little step right here to like reach up there but that's what i'm envisioning i hope you guys could like envision that unsure if i was saying any of that with enough description my brain sees it and I hope your brain sees it too. Anyway, let's go around the side. So around here, I currently store my Waco fridge. Now this system works a bloody treat for me. I absolutely love having my fridge in the side door because it is so convenient. I don't have to go open the boot to get what I need. It's literally right here, especially for when like I'm at the beach and I just want a cheeky drink or snack. Literally just have to open a door and Bob's your uncle, there it is. Uh, so I want to keep it that way. Now I'm thinking for this. At this level here, I want to have a little compartment that like folds down and has my air compressor with a hose and a little switch. Next level up, I want to have a mini drawer that has camping supplies. So I want my head torches, mozzie repe repe repellent, all of that crap there. Next, I want to have another drawer that is literally just a utensils drawer. Uh, knives, forks, spoons, spatula, tongs, all of the necessities there, maybe salt and pepper and whatnot. Then I want to have a fridge. I want a stand-up fridge right here. I don't know if that is too much to fit in this little area. We might have to make some adjustments and put some of that in the rear here, but I have faith in Ethan. I poor Ethan from Splinter 4x4. I've been on comms with him literally every single day being like, oh, let's add this, let's change this. Nah, let's get rid of that. Um, what about this? I go to him with the most insane ideas and every single time he comes back and nails it. So I have faith in him. Anyway, I reckon we should set up the tent and then start cooking dinner because we are gonna run our light soon. Let's go. My God, I just popped up the tent off camera. I haven't slept in this thing in the longest time and I'm genuinely so excited. Welcome to the penthouse. The penthouse kind of needs some work done, AKA new bedding. Have a look at this. God. There's that much sand in this thing. It's killing me. Let's um fix that. I feel like the only way to fix this is just to take off the little mattress topper, shake it outside, and then put it back on. So let's do that. The mattress is actually quite a nice color. I don't like black because everything shows up on black. This is gonna work so well. That will do. Now to put it back on. Oh my God, it's all like fluffy. I don't know what from though. She needs a wash, but that's um another day's problem. Maybe we just do it inside out. <laughs> Let's just ignore the problems. Oh, 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 she did it. Looking good. Just need to spread this little blanket out. I got this from Nike years ago and I love it. It's really comfortable and light when it's super hot. Now, I've got some more bedding in Prades that I need to bring up. Let's do that real quick. Ah! Oh God, holy dooly. All right, I got two pillows and another little blanket. This is so hot, I feel like I'm not gonna get cold. And that is it, my friends. I feel like I should hop on the computer and do a quick Kmart order for some new bedding. Like a different color sheet would be nice, Oh my god, guys, there's already sand in here. Holy dooly. Anyway, um, kind of want a different car sheet cover. Definitely new pillow covers. Um, and maybe like another nice little fluffy blanket like this. And then I feel like I'd be set. Maybe we should whip out the laptop. Maybe after dinner. We'll cook dinner because the sun's low key setting. And then we'll get out the laptop and do a little bit of online shopping together, maybe. Let's go cook dinner. Oh my god. 
I'm going to leave the um this thing down just to air her out a bit because she stinks like um fire low key hopefully no bugs get in there she'll be right I literally told you guys I don't go camping with our fur anymore she's packed she's ready to go I don't like how I had to get her off of the back seat and pop her up here how convenient would it be to just have my good old pull out pantry with this sitting right at the front so good Anyway, now typical Tay behaviour, on tonight's menu we have meat boxes because they are easy and they are yummy. Hashtag lazy gal, but she'll be right. Telling you, how good is it having a fridge right here? It's so convenient, it's not in the way of anything and it's my height because I'm a short gal and you literally just, you know, chuck your food over there. Obviously I won't be able to do that when I have a big pantry in the way, but... I'm so excited. I'm so excited to just like give Prad some love and attention and modify her a bit. Oh, here's my cheese. Okay, let's go cook. It would be a massive inconvenience if my gas bottle had ran out of gas because I don't have any others. There's a tiny bit in here. And this is what I mean by I need to rebuild Prads, do her drawers, and just fit her back out so I can go skedaddle whenever I want, go camping, and not have to pack the car and worry about what's in there, what's not. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah, what is that? Okay, I need to give that a clean. Yuck! Yuck! I need to clean the air fry first. Swear, do not go camping without baby wipes because they come in really handy. Oh my God, you know what else will be bloody sick in this new rear drawer system? A water tank with a little pressure hose. I could have just washed this and you know what I mean? But no, I'm using baby wipes. It's fine, we'll get there one day. We all got to start somewhere with our rear drawer setups. Yuck! Why am I so feral? Why don't I clean my shit? Yuck, 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 yuck. This inside bit's the worst. Should I show you? No, it's too feral. I can't. I can't expose myself like that. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Yuck. Yuck, yuck. I am disgusting. I am the most disgusting human. Oh. That is feral. Yuck. I'm disgusted with myself, really. That just goes to show how much I love my air fryer. In go the chippies. That is way too much for me. Okay, let's put some back. I forget that Zeus isn't here. Usually I'd give my leftovers to Zeus, but I figured it wouldn't be proper solo camping if I had my dog with me. Some of you may disagree, but... I just felt like being absolutely by myself. Dogs are technically company, you know? So I didn't want any of that stuff. Breaks my heart because Zeus absolutely froths camping, like lives for it. But that's all right. We're going island camping tomorrow, I think, during the night, and we're going to take Zeus. So that's making up for it. Just got to chuck on my cheeky inverter. Get me sweet and sour sauce from back here. And uh, chuck her on. All right, let's prep the mints. By the way, all my pots and pans are from Outback Equipment and I rate them very highly. They are all non-stick. They have removable handles, which I really like. Also, they all come with um, lids, which is bloody epic because you can double them up as a little container for your leftovers, you know? And obviously for cooking, but anywho, I miss Zeus. I love how I'm saying I'm missing Zeus in the Jordan. I miss you too, George. Don't forget to give the chips a little shaky shake. Whack them back in. Pop on the taco seasoning. I just feel like half. Honestly, just wing it. Last time I tried to cook a meat box, I forgot the um, gas cooker. And I attempted to cook it in the air fryer. Miserably failed. I just like put the mince on the chips and all the chips went soggy and then the mince burnt. So don't forget your gas cooker or induction cooker. Um, speaking of induction cookers, how good would that be in the setup? Oh, I should include that. Poor Ethan, just idea after idea. 
He's gonna be sick of me by the end of this. All right, chippies are done. Air fry was roughly on for maybe 25 minutes and my batteries are on 88.6%. Pretty bloody good. You guys are gonna laugh at me, but guess what I actually don't have in the car? A fork. This is what I mean. Prods, neglected. Need to do online shopping. Let's just put, no, let's do like a half bowl. Do a little halfy. A little halfy. Half, half. Then we need the cheese. Where is she? She's back here somewhere. I remember throwing her. There she is. Don't be shy on the cheese. Yum. I like sweet chili. Sweet chili. <laughs> now, what am I going to eat this marvellous creation with? A spoon. Honestly, meat boxes are genuinely the simplest meal you could ever make while you're out camping. If you don't follow me on Instagram, firstly, what are you doing? Secondly, if you don't follow me, go follow me. Because I want to challenge you guys to go make a meat box while you're out camping. Put it on your stories or make an Instagram reel and tag me so I can reshare it to my story. Team meat box all the way. Now you've probably been thinking to yourself throughout this video, wow, Tay looks 10 out of 10, outfit is killer, it's a matching set, where do I get one? Now, let me share with you guys some very, very exciting news. This right here is actually mine and Jordan's brand. We came out with our very own brand, High Life. We do classic football shorts and tees. Um, we're very proud of our little creation, our little baby. It's been out for not too long now. I actually haven't had the opportunity to share with the YouTube game because I'm the world's worst YouTuber, but should be right. If you want to check us out, I'll leave the link in the description for you, or you can check out www.highlife.company. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. I'm obsessed. It's honestly the perfect little camping outfit. I love her. Anyway, enough of the cheeky little plug. Let's, what should we even do? Should we find a little spot to watch the sunset and then go to bed? Probably, let's do that. How sick is this? Just a girl in a car watching the sunset in absolute peace. Can we have a moment of silence, ready? Ah, I love it. I love it. This is the best. I'm so happy. I'm in my happy place. Oh my God. There are so many decent sized fish jumping in this river mouth right now. I'm dying that I don't have my fishing rod. <coughs> Every single time. Every time. Holy dooly, it's time to get into the tent because I'm getting eaten alive. Um, it probably doesn't help that the window is open. Let's pray that there's not many bugs up there. Also, don't question the bag. It's just easier to bring my whole bag up here. Um, oh my God. Jesus Christ. This is heavy. How's my computer in it? Because you best believe we're online shopping. <laughs> Would you look at that? She did bring a head torch with her, but it doesn't help wearing it because you guys can't see me. So that doesn't help either. Oh my. Uh, this is like I'm going to tell some spooky stories with y'all. Hello. <laughs> anyway, that's as best as we're going to get. I've got my little lappy lap with me. Um, and we... We were going to hop onto Kmart, weren't we? To buy some new bedding. Let's check that. Why am I online shopping while in a rooftop tent camping? This doesn't feel right. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to go with the $12 soft blanket. I'll show you. Should I get grey, blue, pink, black or musk? I'm thinking grey. I'm a grey girly. Let's go with grey. Pillow. Case. Oh, 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 what colour do I want? I think I should go grey because, one, they're on clearance for $2 each and it'll match the blanket I've ordered. Four bucks, what a steal. Um, what else was I missing in my kitchen? I know I was missing forks. I'll grab some forks while I'm at Kmart. Fork. 
Oh, there she is. Set of four for four buck fifty. Oh no, even better. Set for four for two buck fifty. I love a bargain, honestly. So I was just going back through the footage and realised that the Kmart scene um, cut out on me, which was really rude, but that's all right. I ended up making the order. Um, it is currently now 10.55, uh, so I think I'm going to hit the hay, um, get a good night's sleep, and then get up early tomorrow and send it. But I think I'm going to leave the vlog off here tonight, so... Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really need to get out and do these solo camping missions more often because I do genuinely enjoy getting out there by myself, having some me time, um, and yeah. Anywho, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Gee ho!